people, welcome back to the channel, it's Eunice here. And so I've put together a guide about how you can get into New Zealand Medical School as an international student finishing high school overseas. And if you're a domestic student from New Zealand and you're looking to get into medical school, then click out of this video, this is not relevant for you. Check out this video here instead. Okay now. Hello friends from all over the world. I have received a lot of messages lately about how to get into medical school from when you finish high school overseas and I've been getting messages from Thailand, from Philippines, from India, from Pakistan and y'all I didn't know the answer to any of your questions to be honest because they were so specific and being a domestic student obviously I've had no experience of what I needed to do to apply as an international student to get into a medical school in New Zealand so I've done a lot of research to answer those questions and I thought why not create a comprehensive guide for you all who need to get into med school in New Zealand as an international student after you've finished your high school overseas. So this one's for you. This video is split into two parts, Otago Medical School and Auckland Medical School. So there's only, for those of you who don't know, there's only two medical schools in New Zealand and both of the courses that they provide are pretty similar in, in terms of the standards. If you are interested to hear the nitty gritty details about how different they are, then you should check out the video here, which I'll link. But essentially you can apply for both as an international student and from what I can hear, here is not too different. Okay, okay, let's get to the good part. Ah. <laughs> the bottom line is, if you are an international student from overseas just finishing high school, you have to do health sciences first year to get into medical school. Or Auckland equivalent is first year of B Med Sci or B Health Sci. And I quote from the Otago website which says this, all school leavers or others who have not previously attended a university or tertiary institution must seek entry to the health professional degree programs by completing the health science first year course in their first year of study at Otago. The health science first year course can be taken at Otago only. And of course, Auckland equivalent is B Med Sci and B Health Sci, otherwise known as pre med course. So, how do you do a pre med course? Let's start with Otago. Basically, you need two things. Number one, you need a recognized university degree and number two you need proficiency in English tests. So Otago accepts generally not a lot but these are the international qualifications that they do accept in general. So I'll list them below. So basically they accept IB, Cambridge, Northern Consortium at United Kingdom International Foundation Year as well as a completion of one year's study at a recognized tertiary institution listed in the World Higher Education Database. I didn't even know there was a website like that. But basically the specific points that they require for each of these qualifications is on here. Otherwise, you can use this tool on the Otago website to find out what exactly is required for your country, which I think is an easier way to go about it, to be honest. This is it. You basically go onto this website, which I will link in the description below. It says find the entrance requirements for your country, then you can pick um, with whatever country you have. And for this example, I'll use Philippines. And the entry requirements here um, it will tell you what you need. Yeah, I think that's a more straightforward way of finding out whether or not like your secondary degree is accepted by Otago. But say if the university does not recognize your secondary certificate, then the surest and the safest bet to get into New Zealand Medical School is this. You just have to do a year of foundation year and that is two semesters of 13 week course that they prepare you to do health science first year. So it's an additional year, but that just is a sure way that you can get into medical school no matter what, where you're from, what country you're from, what high school you've done and what qualifications you have. I have a lot of friends who have done that year and found that they're really helpful to prep you for your first year health sciences anyway. So the foundation studies for health sciences, and the intake time is in February and in June. Even if you miss out on the February one, you can still apply for the June. 
Okay, the second one is proving that you can speak proficient English to even start the degree because they need to make sure that you're able to understand all that's been taught that is in English, obviously. There are quite a few that Otago recognises. A lot of my international friends, they tend to just do the IELTS or the TOEFL tests in order to tick off this box. Here is the full list. I will link the website below as well. Of course the third thing that you need is sort of admin documents that you need to send through as well and while you're overseas make sure that you've got original copies of these as well as photocopies of this even when you arrive in New Zealand. So what they want is an academic transcript, translated English documents and then this third thing is called educational credential evaluators report or ECE. Basically it's just a report to say that you you come from the secondary school and that it's like a legit place. And they also need your proof of identity and you want to make sure that all of those things that I've mentioned about the copies of those need to be certified. So now we're moving on to the second part which is Auckland University. Like I said, Auckland and Otago, not too different really. Auckland is just a lot warmer and Auckland is quite a big city. Uh, you don't get, in my personal opinion anyway, I, I'm an Otago grad, hmm? um, in my personal opinion, like Auckland, you don't get as much of a student sort of uni vibe as you do in Otago because Auckland is such like a, a really big city and whereas in Otago, I feel that you get a much sort of unique uni experience because like this whole town is pretty much a uni town. It's a city now I think. So in Otago it's a lot colder though so you have to take that into consideration. But anywho, the equivalent of health science first year in Auckland is Bachelor of Health Sciences or Bachelor of Med Sciences. So you just need to do a year of either of those and the entry scores for those are slightly different but I think it doesn't really matter for international students. But I've got to say though, the enrollment and things for Auckland University is actually a hella lot easier to navigate and it's like way better optimised for user experience for international students compared to Otago University. So Otago you kind of need to up your game with that a little bit because everything thing with Auckland University's website is in one place including like all the requirements and like the English test score that you need, duration of the course and when it starts and the point scores and all that. It's, it's very good, very very good. You go onto this website and it says final study option yeah so you scroll down and go to health medicine and biomedical sciences you click into that and then um, it will show you all the programs that they have so we'll just click view O and then we found Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, that's that's the that's med school pretty much. And it tells you, oh look, like the start dates, the duration, six year degree, and of course, so to be able to get entry you need to do these first year entry um, these degrees. So we'll get into entry requirements and my highest qualification is from outside of New Zealand. Then um it says here that you yeah you can't just get onto a med school without doing these bachelor degrees first which is only one year okay and then go straight into entry requirements again and click outside of New Zealand and this is where you can type in um, the country that you're from so it takes a little while to load so give it a bit of time yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go and then it tells you secondary school qualifications exactly what you need um, and at the bottom here, I love this because it's like also visual. They tell you what you need, including your IOTS, which is perfect. And then they also have like other pathways as well. So say if you're not able to uh, meet those requirements, you can always do foundation. Like I said, is a bit similar to Otago. Yeah, basically as you can see, the two universities, the only difference that I could find is that it's a little bit more straightforward for Otago in the sense that there's only one path, health science first year, that's it, everyone does the same thing. Whereas in Auckland there is two choices for you to think about, Bachelor of Health Sciences or Bachelor of Med Sci. That's it. Now, provided that you do get into med school, congrats! So medical school is a second year course, right? For And for international students in Otago, there's about 20 spaces 
in terms of getting onto the program for international students. And for domestic students, I think it's something like 200 and... 80, and that's according to the website. For Auckland there are 30 spaces. I think there are quite a few of the scholarships that are available as well if you're interested because yeah it is quite costly. I'm sure you would know. Health Science first year um, for Otago I think was like 30k NZD per year which is insane oh my goodness you guys like pay so much money and for medical school each year is a bit different so pre-clinical year is a bit cheaper i think it's something like 90k per year and then clinical years are reaching like 100k per year so obviously a very very costly degree so i think if you are interested in scholarships as well i will link the potential sort of scholarships that you can apply for as an international student for these courses in the link description below as well so hopefully that was a quick concise wee guide that is all you really need to apply for New Zealand Medical School as an international undergrad student and if you have any questions please 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 feel free to comment below but if in doubt and like I'm not getting back to you quick enough there is sort of these please ask email addresses and like chatbot and things with with the two universities and they're pretty good at replying quickly with accurate information so give them a try okay that's all um i hope that was helpful and if it was please 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 show your support by liking this video and don't forget to subscribe for helpful information about getting into medical school and yeah see you later